And hello from the southern part of Germany. We're here in the great city of Munich. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And coming up, we have live action from the Dritte Liga. It's 1860, and they face MSV Duisburg. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully, it won't disappoint. The lineup for 1860. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4 5 1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Looks very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. This is the lineup for the visitors today. But all the evidence points to a 4-5-1 as well, mirroring their opponent's lead. Yeah, if the graphics are accurate, it seems like it's going to be very congested in that midfield area. I wouldn't be surprised if we see one of these teams sick a little bit, invite their opponents onto them, try and create space behind them and utilise their pace on the break. And now they get the ball rolling. Extremely sloppy in possession. And he read it well defensively. It looks promising. Maximilian Zawa. Janssen. A very timely interception. Salger. Getting in there to intercept. And they need to get tighter here. Unable to keep the ball. And a chance to whip it in here. Far from a good pass. Fruitful looking attack. Very comfortable when in possession. Janssen doing well to keep possession can they get in behind them 
What can he do from here? Janssen. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here we see it again, a lovely passage of pure quality passing, fluid as you like, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Will it be? Incredible instinctive goalkeeping. Yeah, he didn't have long to react, did he? But you have to praise his reflexes there. A chance then for the respective manager's charges. It is half-time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Possession given away, unfortunately. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Zalger. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Alert defending. Well, they no longer have the ball. Oh, nice ball. This looks promising. He must finish. There it is. Two to the good now. And that gives them a buffer. Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. It's going their way, 2-0. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Zalger.
Well, showing good patience. Zalga. And take it away. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. So a personnel change then. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Real danger. Options in the middle. Erdmann. Looks promising this. Can he get one back? Dennis Erdmann. Now, let's see what they can do here. Dennis Erdmann. Top-class defending. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. It looks promising. Fruitful-looking attack. Chance to finish! It's opening up for them. Goalkeeper should take charge. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts? Well, Derek, it's simple. Not good enough today. And as a professional sportsman, you have to push yourself day in, day out. That's the only way you improve. Back to the training ground for me. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.